Episode, episode. We are episode eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! The category is Night of a Thousand. Mustang! <laughs> Another acting challenge. Rue has it out for the pretty girls today. Because mm-hmm. wow. these girls are not actors. Oh, come, come back, back to Monster Watch Alongs. Watching RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 8, Episode 7. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can talk about the episode and how Kahana said goodbye. She Listen, said, I they don't. are coming for the pretty girls. Like, I'm so tired. Okay, of these. but can I just say, I'm tired of people who are just so quick to quit it's like it's like Rue said first of all it's unprofessional like you know what you signed up for you know what you have to go through I understand mental health is important or whatever mental health health. I understand but y'all are dressing it y'all are putting on dresses (laughs) (laughs) like you guys need to learn how to rise to the challenge of something that's outside of your comfort zone and I know it's difficult but that's where a lot of growth happens y'all are grown men wearing dresses like have some fun okay I was trying to be fair but (laughs) like have some fun fun. And the oh red. y'all sitting here letting these white twinks Aww. these white twinks just bring y'all to tears sweetie like oh the drag race fandom like and you're letting a couple of white lesbians run shit like girl well, come Ross. on oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ross <laughs> who's so, a dom top by the way I'm still shocked by this news. that little voice going that little <laughs> voice just that's your safe word. <laughs> just I don't know. It's just Good like annoyed. it's giving Chihuahua. You know that meme of the red hand going thumb tops. Yes, with yes. the <laughs> girl. So they did the, the it was like a little acting challenge. Lala was a security guard. Oh yeah, so, it was just a newer version of get those nuts away from my face. And then the only one that did a good job was Lala. The only one that did a good job was Jessica. She uh, Jessica, her ETB card. Oh, we're best friends. And it's Taco Tuesday. And she and loves she these loved soft shell tacos with guacamole. And guacamole, and it's expensive. Listen, Jessica, I just want Jessica to win. I Candy don't. was being Candy. Uh, Alexis Michelle kind of faded into the background a little bit because they tried to do that whole like, well, why should it be fair for you to just get your first pick and like no one can argue for it? When it's doing, like, bitch, just audition for Alexis it. Alexis was doing blackface. Roxy. Oh. Oh. Oh I spy. Slide. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, and but, then I don't know. Like the standouts to me was just Lala, Jessica, and Jimbo, and then oh, and Jimbo Stink Finger, Stink Finger. Stink. Stink. It was giving me very much scary movie too, my strong. Hey. Um, <laughs> not too much into details, but how do you feel about the category? Miss fill in the blank. It was like pageant category. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot. Evening gown. Oh, I was like, what is this again? Evening gown, basically. Oh, I, it was, I wasn't impressed with most of like, it. Like, she's like, okay, yeah, because Jessica was like Miss Sausage. Miss Meat. Mm-hmm. But it was like, it wasn't fun. Miss Meat. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Miss Meat hand. Girl, anyways, and then. It's odd. They brought back George's as a Lizzie's hustle. Which I think was just rude. You brought and George's back to lose on purpose. <laughs> and gave this song to fucking Lala, who looked terrible, by the way. Lala looked awful yeah. in the runway, which is why I'm like, you're looking But she was Miss one. Bootleg. Oh, Miss, okay. Miss Steel is what Miss Lala has been giving the whole season. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. Miss Budget. My thing is, is this. <sighs> Lala said this in the beginning, which I'm like, I can see that. She said she's here to have fun. Some people are here to compete. Oh. So go have fun outside. Right. That part. Because some then, people. But she didn't kill that lip sync. She is a I mean, about the music. She, yeah, she's not that a was the, That was not the Lizzo song. <laughs> it's about it's about damn time. <laughs> well, uh, that was a song built for big black bitches. Which is why I'm like, why did they bring. They said, we're going to set this up for you again. again because you should have won the Grace Jones challenge, but all of your clothes were up. Bitch. Listen, the most triggering thing Lala has worn the entire season that I'm sick and sick and sick and sick and tired of seeing. The professional t-shirt that, that doesn't show you. Pink leopard 
turn, turn in the car. Oh, yes, so no, it keeps bitch. cutting her neck off. The whole time she's in the confessional, like, like head. girl, bitch, Lord, oh my God, child. Oh my God, I'm, I'm like, the fun. floating <laughs> head. I'm like, oh. <laughs> let me yeah. see your neck. Oh, Lala can't ever win with y'all. But she is the winner of the lip sync. And she sends home Kahana. How dare you? I, I would have sent home Alexis. I would have sent, would have sent home However, I love my auntie because I need my little 19 minute cry. Let me Not tell you something listen. about let me tell you something about Libras, honey. She wants oh. her an Oscar nominee. Honey, Alexis. she wants lights. I would have thank my family. And the ball spot. And, oh! Just yeah. stop! Stop! Enough Alexis hate. So Kahana goes home. Kahana looks gorgeous. Kahana oh, always. So the winner she, of the fame game. Kahana she finally the, oh. like had her moment where she was like, okay, like how do I really get over being just pretty and like let loose and you know get into the role. Matiki, Muge Wonsa. And I was loving that because she's been put through the ringer episode after episode, all these acting challenges, and it's like. And then when she. No, no hold on. Let loose. <laughs> Let loose. No, 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 no. All right, so to sum it up. Thoughts on the episode? Uh, it was pretty. Uh, stop no, acting uh, challenges. No more acting. Stop. The, One. These acting challenges are only showing that this season is about the drama because let's Ooh. collectively these are not these are the doo doo girls. Like they they're, really not doo -doo, they're not doo doo. They're not doo doo. They're not doo doo. They're not. Especially doo -doo. after the winter season. Listen, I will say okay, what I say. Not all the girls are doo doo because Jimbo's there. Jimbo. There's just a different but. level of drag that we have expected as the audience from they all said stars previous seasons. Well, here's the thing. These are the forgotten queens. On top of not even that, it's like you're the queens that have came from previous seasons, like. But Kahana they had the biggest glow up. But they haven't had as much exposure and opportunities. Okay, but you had time. Uh, okay. Every listen, I can't be the predictor of the future of what you do in your free time after the show, but mm. everyone kind of has the same opportunity for show. You know. <sighs> All I can say is is that like for instance, like Monica, I'm so sorry, God bless her soul, but no. Sometimes it kind of gave me like, okay, yes, you're desperate for this second chance, but it's giving like But you didn't do it. Success enough. is not always owed to you. Yeah. You must do with it. But you have your have moment on TV. Top. It's not off. <laughs> I... The Monica hate will stop. And if you know, she is the famous winner. And no, she's, she's not. not. Yeah, she is. She is the underdog a hero. So if she likes you, you know you lost it. No, no, you lost it. It's not a dark. No, we can't. Final opinions, though. Uh, I will say, how about this? Uh, who are your top two as of right now? For the fans. Jessica, Jessica as the winner. I agree. Okay. Jessica and, and Jimbo. Two. The top two. Jessica, Jessica and Jimbo. And Jimbo. Yeah. I'm going to do Jessica and Auntie Not Alexis. Me. Let's go! I'm so sorry. I hate them.